everybody. Tonight, I'm going to start a painting that will span the lifetime of this country to this point. Veterans Day is going to be here the 11th. I had done a small 5 by 7 that I showed before, but actually our history goes back a long way. Now I know all these. <laughs> Nobody's still around from the Revolutionary War, but I still feel the need to pay homage to those who did, because without that we wouldn't have the country and the freedoms that we do today. So, I'm going to get started. I've got my canvas prepped. And I'm going to just start with the tricorn hat that they wore. Uh, not everybody had. I'm going to put something that is a reminder for all the four all the wars that we have fought. There, the national flower is the rose. But roses do have thorns and nobody comes out of a war unscathed on either side. We must remember that. And so our rose bleeds. In fact, our rose has bled a lot, if you consider the rose representing our fallen and those who have come home wounded and and this is also Thanksgiving month here in the United States. And I think we need to be very thankful to all of our fighting soldiers, service persons, because, you know, there are times when we fight wars inside our country. And, yes, there was uh, the fight against the terrorism of 9-11-2001. But there's also, there was the Civil War, and both sides bled. I can tell you that. We all know that. Both sides bled. Okay, that was supposed to look like the pink, the lighter pink that... <laughs> I may have to go around it with some more red, but these roses aren't really round. They're, they've got petals that jut out different places. And I was just trying to put some paint in there. Now this, we did not have our flag yet. But I am going to put a field of blue back here behind this particular thing of the Revolutionary War. Because it, it does represent something very important. And it also gives me a feel of something to paint on. <laughs> gives me a background. But. Now, who remembers? Little Cuyas here. Who remembers the person who wrote the poem? it did start out as a poem 
the Star Spangled Banner. I'll probably do this on most of the background. Probably should have. I thought I was going to just go with white, but I'm not going to just go with white. Okay, now I do want to put the cannon and the musket and the saber in there, but I need to let this dry. I, well, I can dry it with the with the blow dryer but I, I wanted to put this and I probably will go ahead and use it all over <laughs> just so it doesn't hide those items. So far it's not. But if you think about it, if we hadn't fought and won the Revolutionary War, we wouldn't have our own veterans today. We'd have British veterans. <laughs>
There were several kinds of muskets, if I understand things right. And some were more, British had one kind, or had, you know, theirs. And the colonists had probably various types, but they were, some were more kind of a French design, I guess. But all in all, <laughs> They did have their muskets. And both sides had their swords. And it looked like maybe they had some spears too. Some long spears. So there were plenty of weapons. Plenty, plenty, plenty of weapons. That's a little too much, but... That's going to be fixed very quickly here. Okay. Musket balls. <laughs> an opening on this can and oops that's too wet. The gray might be better for it anyway. Okay. Does that look okay that I haloed that stuff? I've seen it done before. I don't know why it would be a problem but I didn't get much of a sharp tip on that sword. Okay, that's it. That's going to be it for this particular one for tonight. And I will work on it again probably tomorrow or the next day because Saturday's coming. <laughs> so yeah, I do need to do more on this. And I think my little bit of talent might be able to at least give the right message that we want to honor our veterans now and long ago. So, and when you see somebody, and it and you you know that they're a veteran, or they've got some some way of letting you know that they're a veteran, please tell them thank you for your service. Okie doke. I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll go to the next chapter of this thing. Which, I believe I'm going to go to the Civil War. For the next one. Because there's just, there's two world wars. There's other skirmishes. There's, there's just a lot. And so I'm going to have to be a little picky about which ones I use. <laughs> Okie doke. Love you. Take care of yourselves. Smile and wave. There's yours. Share it. And do come back. 
and leave a comment. Thumbs up. I like you. Give me a like too. <laughs> okay, I won't beg, but please. <laughs> Good night. I love all of you.